So this is about three and a quarter inches long and about three inches long or two and a half inches if you've got a smaller hand. And this is half inch dowel. This is a piece of aluminum dowel, aluminum rod that I put in there and I just made a groove in it. Notice that if you look at it this way, the hook is slightly canted, slightly tilted. So when you put it in and lift the string, you're already at an angle. When I prep strings, I use this tool on the front here. I'll go behind the V-bar and lift every string in, um, in front of the A-graph. And I'll also do the bass strings. Notice that I put this rod up on the front here to push down, and this tells you the orientation of the hook. And as I put this on the string, if I go straight like this with the dowel parallel with the string, it's already canted a little bit. And what I want to do is just slightly tilt it about a 45 degree angle for the hook there and about a quarter of an inch or so from the string, I'll just lift up. Some technicians teach this technique to milk the string like that. That's not necessary. I've done it both ways for years and years and I found that this might render a little bit more, but it also seems to affect the tuning of it a little worse than if you just lift up straight like that. Now in this instance, I'm blocking the string by using something on top instead of down below. And this is just for uh, convenience for myself right now. But if you notice, the hammer should be blocking. It should be thump, thump, thump. But I've got... The left string is open. That means it is higher than the other two. Now I can take my string hook and I could lift the center and the right. But instead of doing that, I'll choose to lower the left string. So what I do is turn this to where the hook is pointing to me. I'll put this down like this. Now this should be beveled where it doesn't hit the strings on the side. And just give it a good hit, like that. Now, all three strings are leveled. Let me reiterate, I did not lift the center and right. All I did was push down the left and on some pianos it's better to push down a string than it is to raise and I know the Kawhi guys will always raise but sometimes that little trick of using this to push down will help you out and it's faster and it seems to work better okay. make the wire bends as shown in the video there and a little practice will get it just right every time I use a lot of these and I give them to friends, so when you do it, just make a whole bunch of them. Drill a hole big enough to put your piece of aluminum in, or brass, I prefer brass. Also drill two holes, one right in the middle and another one right next to it to accommodate this. And then what I do is I just put this through. Pull it all the way down. Then when it gets there, leave a little space in the vise. Then straighten it out. And measure it a little over three inches. That's my mark right there on my dirty desk. Next, in the direction of this, I'm going to bend a hook on this, but I'm going to bend it a little bit at an angle and get you a good pair of needles, pliers. And I can only bend it that far sometimes, but that's no problem. To bend the rest of the way, I put it in a vise, make it a nice little hook like that. This has a pretty sharp edge on it, but if you just take the wire brush, it rounds it off really nice. 